Hi everyone, in this video I will be demonstrating the new customer portal feature for DTOL System Integrator. The customer portal feature gives you the ability to share documents to a personalized URL powered by the DTOLS cloud that can be accessed online by your clients. Documents can be set up to require approval or they can just be shared for viewing. Your clients can then view, comment on, accept and sign or reject any documents. Email notifications will be sent to you when any of those actions take place. Approved documents can then be downloaded with the signatures in PDF format and stored in the projects folder. The first thing you need to do is create your personalized URL and you do this under your company information. So let's go here to the control panel and open up company information. Here you will see a tab named customer portal. Go ahead and click on that. And you will need to create an alias here. So go ahead and click the edit button and go ahead and put in your alias. We recommend that you use your domain name minus the dot com or dot whatever. And when you click out of that box, it's going to go ahead and create the um, custom URL for you here where you're going to see where it says global vision limited in this case dot portal dot details dot com. And that will be the customized URL that you and your users will log into to view shared documents. You also have the option of entering a slogan here. I'll go ahead and put one in. And this will display on the login screen for accessing your customer portal. And when you're done, just go ahead and click Save and Close. And that will create your customer portal account. And that's all there is for setup. And now I'll show you how to share documents. There are three interfaces inside of SI where you can share documents to the customer portal. The first one is the Project Explorer. So we'll go there. To manage your projects and here you can select a project in the list, click the customer portal and share documents here. You can also do it right from within the projects interface. So if you have a project editor open, uh, there's a customer portal tab here where you can share documents as well. And the third place where you can share documents is from the compare editor. So if you compare two revisions for the purpose generally of running a change order report, this is how change order reports can be shared out to the customer portal. First, just go ahead and run your compare here. And when the form opens up showing you the differences in the project, this is where you can click customer portal and share documents. And you will have the option to share your change order report. So those are your three interfaces. Uh, the one I'm going to work with today is here in the Project Explorer. So I'm going to select a project and then click Share Documents. Go ahead and move this over here. Here you can choose to add reports or add files. The difference being adding reports will newly generate reports to attach here to share to the customer portal where add files would be uh, if you've already generated a report, for instance, and saved it as a PDF, you could browse to that location and add that file. You could also add any other files that you want here. They could be uh, user guides, they could be images. Uh, keep in mind that this is a web interface, the customer portal, so uh, what is viewable there will be determined by the browser. So uh, image files tend to work well, PDFs definitely work well, but if you attach something like a, an AutoCAD file, like a DWG file extension, um, they may not be able to view that unless they have a, an add-in for their browser, but they will be prompted to download that file. Then they could view it locally on their machine. For this example, I'll go ahead and add reports. So when you click this, you'll be able to choose the reports that you want to run. You can also run report groups as well. So it'll be up to you which documents you'd like to share. I'm going to go ahead and share a proposal with images by location and a contract. And if you'd like to preview these before you share them, which is probably a good idea, here in this dropdown, it will list what you've selected down below. And then this will open the report viewer, so you'll be able to view those documents. I'm going to go ahead and click Add and Close here, and you can see that both of those documents were added here to the list. If you need to delete one of these, just select a document and choose Delete. There's also a Move Up and Move Down option here if you want these in a particular order. There's also a Mass Update function here, and the Mass Update function relates to whether or not it requires client approval and whether or not it's inactive. So um, I'll just show you that very quickly, and then we'll talk about those features. But if you hit Mass Update here, you are able to decide whether these documents will require customer approval and set a valid until date. And once they've been shared, you would be able to mark them as inactive if needed. So let's talk about over here the required uh, client approval option. So when you select 
a document, you can choose singly here also whether or not it's going to require client approval. And that includes a signature out there in the customer portal. The valid until date is set 30 days out by default, but you do have an option here of changing that if you would like. After the valid until date expires, uh, the document will automatically be marked as inactive. Also, when you have a document selected, you can choose to rename it if you'd like, or you could add a description here. So I'll choose this proposal and go ahead and put a description in there. Notice the description shows over here. It will also show up on the email that your client receives. And the next step is to determine who will receive these documents. So if you go to recipients and users, the recipient here, uh, there will always be one default one, and that will be the primary contact for the project. You can add additional recipients here. As you can see, a new contact uh, from the project contacts, from your client contacts, or just from your contact list in general. Um, you can also import from Outlook here as well. And each person or recipient that you add to this list, you can decide whether or not they can accept and reject documents. If you only want them to be able to view them, you can uncheck this box. Down here in the Users to Notify section, uh, whoever you're logged in as, your SI user, will be the default here. But you can, of course, delete that person if you don't want them to be notified. And, of course, you can add more, either from your project resources or from your user list itself, anybody in your company. And when you're ready to share these, go ahead and click the Share button. Here, you'll be able to add a message here that will display on the email that the recipients will receive, the people in this list here. I'll go ahead and enter some text here. You can also use snippets if you've saved those ahead of time or create a new snippet on the fly here if you'd like to reuse this text. When you're ready, go ahead and click Share. And this will publish these items or share these items to the customer portal. And you'll get a notification once the documents have been shared successfully. Go ahead and click OK on that. Here in the Project Explorer, there'll be a little icon next to the project file indicating that there are documents that have been shared to the customer portal. What also happened is that emails were sent out to the recipients and the users to notify. If it's the first time you've ever shared documents either as a user or it's the first time you've shared to a particular recipient, you'll each receive login credentials for the customer portal. It will have a temporary password there. I'll go ahead and show you some examples of those emails now. This is an example of an email that will be sent out to your clients. Um, notice that it will put your company logo here and it will let them know that documents have been shared with them for a particular project and then it will have their login credentials with a temporary password. And they will be prompted to change that temporary password the first time they log in to view the documents. And further down in the email is a link to the documents in the customer portal. And here's an example of an email that the users to notify will receive. So the uh, SI users, uh, they'll again get their uh, credentials for logging into the portal with a temporary password and a sign-in link down here. Now as a user, you can access the customer portal either from the link in the email that you received or you can select the project here in the Project Explorer and click the View button here to take you out to the customer portal. But what I'm going to show you is the recipient facing side of the customer portal, what your clients would see. This is the sign-in page for the customer portal. Here you'll see your logo displayed as well as your slogan if you entered one earlier. And again, I'm going to log in as a recipient here. I've already gone ahead and changed my temporary password, but just keep in mind that you would be prompted to change your temporary password on first login. So we'll go ahead and log in here, and you'll see the two documents that we just shared out to this client. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see filters as well as a legend to show you what uh, these icons mean, and those are the statuses of these documents. Both of these documents uh, did require approval, so you see that there are two pending approval. And if you click on one of these tiles, it will take you to the document. The document will display here in the middle section of the page. This will allow you to navigate back to the previous screen. You can also toggle between the documents here with this little drop down. And um, there are pagination controls along the bottom of the interface. You can also scroll up or down. Or if you prefer, you can pop this out into its own tab if you'd like to view it that way. Over here, the recipients can accept, reject, or simply make a comment on 
the document. In this case, I'll just make a comment. And here you click this to send that. And that will send an email to the user, or the SI user. The SI users also receive an email when the document is viewed. Down here, there's a comments tab, as well as a history tab that keeps track of everything except comments. In this case here, where you can see the document has been viewed. And again, an email was sent out to the SI user indicating that. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and just accept this document. Choose accept. That'll open a little form here where uh, the client can write a comment. Go ahead and put one there. And they can also add a signature here. So I'll go ahead and just add a signature in this field real quick. The best I can with my mouse. And if you want to save this as the default signature, uh, they cannot reuse this signature over and over again on their documents. That's just an option that they have. We'll go ahead and choose accept here. And this document has now been accepted. You'll notice that that comment went down here in the list. And the reject and accept buttons have been removed from here. All they can do at this point is change the signature. So if one of your clients happens to reject one and then change their mind and want to accept it, you will need to go ahead and reshare that document out to them so they can accept um, the new document. And once a document is accepted, both you and the client or the recipients will receive an email with a PDF attachment of the signed document. I'll go ahead and show you that. We'll pull this up here and as you can see, as well as a date stamp. And the last feature I'd like to show for this is back in the SI interface. So we'll go back here and we'll go ahead and select this project. We'll check it out to us. Go ahead and choose yes on that. And here on the files tab, you have the option of adding accepted documents. When you click this button, it's going to go ahead and download any accepted documents from the customer portal for that project. Over here, a new category has been created called Accepted Documents, and that signed document has been added to the project's folder. And that completes my demonstration of the new Customer Portal feature in SI. Thanks for watching.